God's Creative Power, written by Charles Capps, read by Abigail Emery. Chapter 2. God's Word is Medicine. Proverbs 4, 20 and 22. Attend to my words. They are life and health, medicine to all their flesh. God's word ministers to the total man. His word, Jesus, is our wisdom, righteousness, sanctification, and redemption. Most people have used the words of their mouth to hold themselves in bondage. But as you begin to speak the word of God from your heart, it will produce liberty. It will produce the health and healing the word said it would. Most people have spoken contrary to the word. They have spoken things that the devil has said. They have quoted what the enemy has said about them. Therefore, they have established on earth the words the enemy has said. If we will begin to establish the things God said and establish his word on this earth, then, thank God, we'll rise to a new level of faith. We will walk in the level of life where we release the ability of God by the words of our mouth. We can release the ability of God within ourselves by the words of our mouth and cause his word and his power to become available to us. Let's learn to take God's medicine daily. Capsules. To defeat worry and fear, confess these goss pills three times a day. I am the body of Christ, and Satan hath no power over me, for I overcome evil with good. 1 Corinthians 12.27 and Romans 12.21 I am of God, and have overcome him, Satan. For greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. 1 John 4.4 4. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, Lord. Your word and your spirit, they comfort me. Psalms 23.4 I am far from oppression, and fear does not come nigh me. Isaiah fifty four fourteen. No weapon formed against me shall prosper, for my righteousness is of the Lord. But whatever I do will prosper, for I am like a tree that's planted by the rivers of water. Isaiah fifty four seventeen and Psalms one three. I am delivered from the evils of this present world, for it is the will of God. Galatians 1 4. No evil will befall me, neither shall any plague come nigh my dwelling. For the Lord has given his angels charge over me, and they keep me in all my ways. And in my pathway is life, and there is no death. Psalms 91, 10, and 11, Proverbs twelve twenty eight. I am a doer of the word of God, and am blessed in my deeds. I am happy in those things which I do, because I am a doer of the word of God. James 1, 22. I take the shield of faith, and I quench every fiery dart that the wicked one brings against me. Ephesians 6.16 6, Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law. Therefore, I forbid any sickness or disease to come upon this body. Every disease germ and every virus that touches this body dies instantly in the name of Jesus. Every organ and every tissue of this body functions in the perfection to which God created it to function, and I forbid any malfunction in this body in the name of Jesus. Galatians 3.13, Romans 8.11, Genesis 1.31, and Matthew 16.19. I am an overcomer, and I overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of my testimony. Revelation 12.11 
I am submitted to God and the devil flees from me because I resist him in the name of Jesus. James 4, 7 the word of God is forever settled in heaven. Therefore, I establish his word upon this earth. Psalms 1, 1989. Great is the peace of my children, for they are taught of the Lord. Isaiah fifty four thirteen. If overweight, take this capsule before meals three times a day. I don't desire to eat so much I become overweight. I present my body to God. My body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which dwelleth in me. I am not my own. I am bought with a price. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I refuse to overeat. Body, settle down in the name of Jesus and conform to the word of God. I mortify the desires of this body and command it to come into line with the word of God. Romans 12, 1 and 1 Corinthians six nineteen. For material needs, confess these three times a day until they are manifest. Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law. Christ has redeemed me from poverty. Christ has redeemed me from sickness. Christ has redeemed me from spiritual death. Galatians 3.13 and Deuteronomy 28 For poverty he has given me wealth. For sickness he has given me health. For death he has given me eternal life. Second Corinthians eight nine, Isaiah fifty three five and six, John ten ten and John five twenty four. It is true unto me according to the word of God. Psalms one nineteen twenty five. I delight myself in the Lord, and he gives me the desires of my heart. Psalms thirty seven four. I have given, and it is given unto me, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, men give unto my bosom, Luke six thirty eight. With what measure I meet, it is measured unto me, I sow bountifully, therefore I reap bountifully, I give cheerfully, and my God has made all grace abound towards me. And I have all sufficiency of all things. Do abound to all good works. Second Corinthians 9, 6 and 8 There is no lack, for my God supplieth all my need, according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 9, 19 The Lord is my shepherd, and I do not want... Jesus was made poor, that I, through his poverty, might have abundance. For he came, that I might have life, and have it more abundantly. Psalms 23, 1, 2 Corinthians 8, 9, and John 10, 10. And I, having received abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness, do reign as a king in life by Christ Jesus. Romans 5.17 The Lord has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant, and Abraham's blessings are mine. Psalms 35.27, Galatians 3.14 For wisdom and guidance, confess these three times a day until they're manifest. The Spirit of truth abideth in me, and teaches me all things, and he guides me into all truths. Therefore, I confess I have perfect knowledge of every situation and every circumstance that I come up against, for I have the wisdom of God. John sixteen thirteen and James 1, 5 I trust in the Lord with all my heart, and I lean not on my own understanding. Proverbs 3, 5 In all my ways I acknowledge him, and he directs my path. Proverbs 3, 6 The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Psalms 138, 8 
I let the word of Christ dwell in me, richly in all wisdom. Colossians 3.16 I do follow the good shepherd, and I know his voice, and the voice of a stranger I will not follow. John 10, 4 and 5 Jesus has made unto me wisdom, righteousness, sanctification, and redemption. Therefore I confess, I have the wisdom of God. I am the righteousness of God in Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians one thirty, Second Corinthians 5.21 I am filled with the knowledge of the Lord's will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Colossians 1, 9 I am a new creation in Christ. I am his workmanship created in Christ Jesus. Therefore I have the mind of Christ and the wisdom of God is formed within me. 2 Corinthians 5.17, Ephesians 2.10, and 1 Corinthians 2.16. I have put off the old man, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in the knowledge after the image of him that created me. Colossians 3.10. I receive the spirit of wisdom, and revelation in the knowledge of him, the eyes of my understanding being enlightened. And I am not conformed to this world, but am, am transformed by the renewing of my mind. My mind is renewed by the word of God. Ephesians 1, 17, 18. Romans 12, 2. For comfort and strength, confess these as often as necessary. I am increasing in the knowledge of God. I am strengthened with all might according to his glorious power. Colossians 1, 10 and 11. I am delivered from the power of darkness and am translated into the kingdom of his dear son. Colossians 1, 13. I am born of God and I have world overcoming faith residing on the inside of me. For greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. 1 John 5, 4 and 5 and 1 John 4, 4. I will do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Philippians 4, 13. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The Lord is the strength of my life. Nehemiah 8.10 and Psalms 27.1 The peace of God which passeth all understanding keeps my heart and my mind through Christ Jesus. And things which are good and pure and perfect and lovely and of a good report, I think on these things. Philippians 4, 7, and 8. I let no corrupt communication proceed out of my mouth, but that which is good to edifying, that it may minister grace to the hearer. I grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby I am sealed unto the day of redemption. Ephesians 4, 29. I speak the truth of the word of God in love, and I grow up into the Lord Jesus Christ in all things. Ephesians 4, 15 No man shall take me out of his hand, for I have eternal life. John ten twenty nine. I let the peace of God rule in my heart, and I refuse to worry about anything. Colossians 3.15 I will not let the word of God depart from before my eyes, for it is life to me. I have found it, and it is health and healing to all my flesh. Proverbs 4.21 and 22 God is on my side. God is in me now. Who can be against me? He has given unto me all things that pertain unto life and godliness. Therefore, I am a partaker of his divine nature. 2 Corinthians 6, 16, John 10, 10, 2 Peter 1, 3 and 4, and Romans 8, 31. I am a believer, and these signs do follow me. In the name of Jesus, I cast out demons. I speak with new tongues. I lay hands on the sick, and they do recover. 
Mark sixteen seventeen and 18. Jesus gave me the authority to use his name, and that which I bind on earth is bound in heaven, and that which I loose on earth is loosed in heaven. Therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I bind the principalities, the powers, the rulers of the darkness of this world. I bind and cast down spiritual wickedness in high places, and render them harmless and ineffective against me in the name of Jesus. Matthew sixteen nineteen, John sixteen twenty three twenty four, and Ephesians six twelve. I am complete in him who is the head of all principality and power. For I am his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus, unto good works which God has before ordained that I should walk therein. Colossians 2.10, Ephesians 2.10 God created the universe by the methods which you have just put into motion by the words of your mouth. God released his faith in words. Man is created in the image of God. Therefore, man releases his faith in words. Words are the most powerful things in the universe today. Let me say it again. The word of God conceived in the human spirit, formed by the tongue, and spoken out of the mouth, becomes creative power that will work for you. If the body of Christ would only grasp the truths and the principles that are taught in this book and put them in action, they could change the world. Jesus said, I have told my people they can have what they say, but my people are saying what they have. And that concludes this excerpt by Charles Capps.